I'm Jenna with Tiny House Giant Journey. We're just going down the road and look what we found. This is John's house truck. We're gonna take a tour. Let's go see it. So this is John and this is his house truck. You built this yourself, right? Yep, I did. I had some help though. Had a lot of help. A lot of friends helping you out? Yeah. So yep. how long have you been on the road now? Uh, about a year and uh, four months, I think. And yep. where all have you traveled? Uh, let's see, if you if you guys look on that corner oh, jam yeah. there, it'll... Uh... Tell you all the different places? Yeah, yeah, a lot of places. How's it been on the road with this? Yeah, it's been awesome. You liking the adventure? Oh yeah, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> so we did find John while he's on the road. We actually just saw him filling up gas and, and we pulled him over. So you can tell that the house is in travel mode. It's messy, <laughs> it's a little messy. You also have a cat that travels with you, right? Yep, Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy, he's my co-pilot. He's your travel companion. Yep. How's he liking living on the road? I don't know, I can't, uh, I don't know, cat talk. <laughs> but uh, no, he's, He's getting used to it, you know. I don't think he uh, was a traveler in the beginning, but he's he seems to be having a good time. So my bed's up here. Um, got two windows up there that I can open. Um, got a wood stove over here. It's a hundred-year-old Montgomery Ward uh, uh -huh. wood stove, but it works great. I mean, it's not efficient, but. It's working for you though. It keeps you nice and toasty in here. Yeah, and I'm not doing any really heavy, like uh, cold places. So. Mm -hmm. Is that another closet or a pantry? That's a uh, shower. Oh, slash, that's a shower. Sla uh, shower slash storage. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, so you're completely self sufficient here, it seems like. Yeah, I have a, a, a gray water tank under there, and then I have a 30 gallon fresh water tank. Is it underneath this bench here? No, it's outside. Oh, it's outside. Underneath. Yeah, I made a bracket for it. Mm -hmm. and Is it a gravity fill shower or are you using a water pump? It's a 12 volt uh, water, water pump. pump. You know, I don't use a lot of uh, electronic stuff, so just uh, 12 volt. And then that, that I got a, a, a 70 watt solar panel up there, and then I got two batteries under here. And then I have a, a inverter here to yep. charge stuff. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, and then I do carry a generator. Like this morning, I uh, used it to charge my battery because my alternator uh, is uh, crapping out. But, um, right. And yeah. Now, you do have a refrigerator, but this is like an RV refrigerator, right? So yeah, so that's a two-way. It's propane electric. But mm -hmm. when, I'm, um, when I'm on the road, I just throw some ice, like usually block ice if I can find it. And that's enough to keep it cold? Yeah, about three to five days. How did you design this? Is it your own design or how did you come up with it? Yeah, that? I was inspired from a book called Shelter that was published in the early 70s by Lloyd Kahn. Mm -hmm. And um, it had a couple pages of house trucks in there. And uh, they were older trucks and uh, I just really liked the style and so I was inspired from that. And then uh, I kind of uh, took some cues off, uh, off of uh, Roger Beck. He's another house trucker mm -hmm. who has a book called uh, Turtles Have Nice Shells. And uh, I modeled a little bit of my truck after his. The truck is a 1949 fire truck. Mm -hmm. And then um, it has a, a 1990 Dodge Cummins uh, 5.9 uh, engine in it diesel engine. Did you have to take it apart to build on top of it or how did that work? Um, I had to take the utility box off and then I extended the frame five feet and uh, laid out a platform of these square tubings, quarter inch square tubings all the way down, bolted that down and then um, my good buddy Frank came out from uh, Long Beach and uh, led the initial frame up. Mm -hmm. It took six weeks. Wow. And my son helped, my uncle Jack helped uh, with that, and then um, I, we did that down in Bisbee, Arizona, and then um, I drove it up to Colorado, and it took a year and a half to do the rest. Right, yeah, and so is it a 2x4 framing, or? 
It's actually one by fours, and the reason why is uh, you save so much more weight. Yeah, weight is a big deal. Does yeah. it have insulation? Yeah, it's got R13. R13, what kind of insulation did you use? It's uh, f uh, fiberglass, I think. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. And so what what else do we have going on back here? I know you're an artist. You're a traveling artist. Yep. So you yep. do tattoos and you do photography. I'm a, I'm a tattooer, but I do, um, I've been doing lots of other stuff. Uh, I make jewelry, um, paint, um, leather stuff. Mm -hmm. I just made these shoes. Oh, uh, very cool. Okay. <laughs> That's the artwork of John. Yeah. This is a self-portrait, I'd call, because yeah. it's your truck. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Very cool. So that one has a lot of jewelry stuff in it. Mm -hmm. um, I do silver soldering and copper stuff, and then right in here, I have a lot of my leather tools oh, kind cool. of all set up. Um, yep. And then I can open that window, hinges out, so the wind doesn't catch it. Oh, let's see here. Um, yeah. And this is just kind of my little jewelry area. Yeah, jewelry. Um, I got some old uh, sewing drawers under there. Nice. Uh, and then back behind here, you have actually a back door, yep. which is kind of cool. So you have two entrance and exits going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I park, I can take the bike off and open that up. And use. Oh yeah, because you have like a dirt bike or what? Is it, a motorcycle? Yeah, it's an enduro. Yeah. So you do a lot of that too? Just you know, um, it's nice if I break down, I'm not stranded. And yeah, if I stay in any place for long, I can unload that and go explore mm -hmm. without having to drive this around. So. so the dimensions of this, do you have any? Yeah, let's see, it's eight foot wide and the full length of the whole thing is 23 feet. Wow. And it's about 12 and a half foot tall. Where'd you find all your windows or did you? Are these reclaimed? Or? Those are, yeah, I got it at an antique store in Fort Collins, Colorado. Here too, yeah. And that's an old leaded. Window. I love the sort of gothic, it's like gothic reclaimed rustic look you got going on here. Yeah, yeah, check out that uh, that stained glass on that side. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. And you don't find that they're too brittle on the road being reclaimed windows? You know, I mean, um, you, you just got to do your maintenance. I mean, I could see where th things are chipping out, but I mean, that's just something I can do on the road. I can fix all that stuff, so. Right. Yeah, it's kind Why of an it? ongoing thing, too. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm doing a lot on the road. Everywhere uh, you go, you find something. All the pinstriping I'm doing in route, and then, um, yeah, it's uh, probably in a year from now, it's gonna look totally different. Right, so you, you draw this here? Yeah, that's called uh, pinstriping. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I do that. Uh, on the road, you know, when I get bored and I got a lot of time on my hands. You know how much the whole thing weighs? Six tons. Six tons. Wow. Six tons. Yeah, a lot of that is probably the original mechanics of it because it, it's. Uh, you know, and the thing it added up. It, it does all added add up. up. But it's it's still underweight for the capacity of the truck the chassis. Okay. So, yeah, I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. I took down a hundred year old barn in Eaton, Colorado mm -hmm. and used that for the, the exterior wood. Did you treat it or paint it or? Yeah, you know, in retrospect, um, it's a lot of maintenance yeah. uh, because the wood was so dry. So every couple months I got I to caulk it and uh, I used this deck uh, acrylic stain right. uh, protector thing on there. So you can really see the back door back here. Now, did you reclaim that back door? Did you make it yourself? Uh, my friend uh, Frank and me made those, and my uncle and son helped out. Yeah, we made both doors. The straps on there are, are oak, and those were uh, some wood from my grandfather's blacksmith shop okay. that I was able to use, so that was cool. So normally this butterfly is open, but it's been modified. Now it's a tilt front end. Just. Uh, Easier access to the motor, a lot easier to work on. So what kind of motor is this again? So this is a, a 1990 5.9 Cummins uh, diesel with a turbo. Wow, yeah. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good motor, it gets good gas mileage and uh, it feels really good. So, yeah. 
Yeah. How, how, what's your plan? Are you planning on traveling for a long time? Is this, is this a temporary thing? Yeah, so I've been on the road about a year and three months and I'm really liking it and I think I'm gonna be doing it for a few years for sure. Right, yep. and you can just pick up and go whenever you wanna change your scenery. So exactly. that's the advantage of it. Yeah. Awesome, well, thank you so much for taking us, you know, taking the time as we just pulled yeah. you over on the side yeah. of the road to take us through your house trap. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no and safe travels, you Heck know, yeah. the more you cool. keep going. You'll have to Heck give yeah. us some advice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys, see you next time.